What Happens Next, written by Susan Hughes, illustrated by Carrie Sakucha. Why I Don't Want to Go to School Today, Bully B. What Bully B does at school today? Blocks my way, asks me questions that aren't really questions like, why are you so weird? What her friends do, laugh. What everyone else does, nothing. What I say when mom asks how my day at school was, fine. What Sparky does when he sees me, wags his tail, kisses my face. What Bully B does today, looks me up and down, shoves my books, calls me weirdo. What her friends do, laugh. What everyone else does, nothing. How I feel sometimes, bad, really bad. What I dreamt about last night, Bully B chasing me down the hall, Bully B teasing me, Bully B scaring me. What I say when my mom asks how I slept, fine. What I want to do on my way to school, hurt something, squish something. What I don't do on my way to school, hurt something, squish something. What Bully B does today, swishes past me like I'm invisible. What I say when mom asks how my day at school was, fine. What mom suggests when she sees my face, that we could go for a walk, me and her and Sparky. What I do, run with Sparky, roll down a hill, mom does too. Hug the earth, mom does too. Feel the warm grass against my face. Feel my body sink into the ground. What mom and I do next. Lie on our backs, looking up. What I say, nothing. What it's like, the sky is blue and big, so big. What I feel, wow. What Sparky does, kisses my face. What I do before bed, like always, look at books. What books I like best? One about genomes, which are like instructions for making a person, getting the person going, and keeping the person operating. One about earth's waters and rocks, and its tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes. One about astronomy, which has a fold-out map of the universe that shows earth, other planets, the sun, and other stars far, far away. What I think about, that it's good to be alive, a person here on Earth, but that everything would be better if Bully B was on another star, far, far away. What I say about Bully B when Mom comes to kiss me goodnight, everything. What Mom says, that I'm brave for telling her, that she's sorry I feel scared and hurt, that she'll help. What mom says next, that everyone has their own way of looking at things and people, that each person's way of looking is made up of where they're standing and how they got there. It's made up of what's in their mind, what's in their heart, and what's in their imagination. That Bully B's way of looking makes me seem weird to her. It only lets her see the ways that I'm different than her. That the differences Bully B sees in me, like the way I talk and act, make her feel uncomfortable and maybe afraid. And she doesn't like those feelings. That Bully B hurts me because it makes her feel in charge of me and in charge of how she feels about me. What happens next? Mom says that Bully B has to change her way of looking. That she needs help to do this. That mom can go and talk to the principal tomorrow. Or maybe, just maybe, I might want to try to help Bully B first. What I say, that Bully B's the one who's mean, and why should I have to help her, and it's not fair. What mom says, that I'm right. 
what I say, and anyway, how, what mom does, says I could tell Bully B some of the things I love to think about, that this might help Bully B change her way of looking, then helps me pick three. What Sparky does, kisses my face. How I feel when I see Bully B the next morning. Glad Mom and Sparky are over there watching. What I want to do when I see Bully B. Avoid her. Run away. What I do instead. Take a deep breath and say, Hey, what happens next? I look in Bully B's eyes, like Mom said. I tell Bully B I need to talk to her for a minute, please. What Bully B does frowns, says, I'm such a weirdy weirdo, then sees mom and Sparky, shrugs, okay. What I do next, step back, one, two, three steps, so I can see Bully B's whole body, what I tell Bully B, that there are seven billion people on earth, that every living thing and every person is made up of genomes, that it's because of their genomes that each person is unique, but that we really aren't so different from each other, that if our genomes were 500-page books, hers and mine would tell the same story and have the same chapters, paragraphs, and sentences in the same order, that the only difference between hers and mine would be that mine might be missing a period on page 279 and hers might have a spelling mistake on page 333. What Bully B does, leans in, but not in a nice way, rolls her eyes. What she says quietly so mom won't hear, you're such a weirdo. What I do next, look down, tell Bully B that we're both standing on the surface of the earth that about 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, that about 70% of our own bodies are made of water, that without water, we would not survive, that Earth has more water than any other rocky planet in the solar system, and so Earth is a perfect place for the both of us, for all of us, to live. What Bully Bee does, looks down, sees our feet on the ground, toe to toe, what she says quietly, weird. What I do next, look up, tell Bully B that the earth travels around the sun and that once around is about 584 million miles, that earth travels 67,000 miles per hour, that no matter how far apart we stand from each other on Earth, we're still flying through the space together. What Bully B does, looks up, sways a bit. What Bully B whispers, wow. What's different now? Not everything, but enough. What Bully B doesn't call me anymore? Weirdo. What I call her? Brielle. What I still say when mom asks how my day at school was, fine, but now I usually mean it. What Sparky does, like always, wags his tail, kisses my face.